Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Yesterday we started Psalm 108. We're going to continue that today, a Psalm of David. It's actually a song, a Psalm of David. So he's singing in this psalm. So this is one of those that I'm sure has been set to music. All of them have, but this one in particular, I would imagine, just because, you know, it's a song. <laughs> and so we started yesterday with the praise part. You know, he said, I'm going to sing and give praise. I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to wake up my psaltery and my harp, and they're going to be involved. And I'm going to sing praise the Lord. And it's a testimony because it's among the people and among the nations. So the people of God here are implied. And I think the Gentile, the rest of the Gentile world is implied here because he wants everyone to know how marvelous his God is. And if you look at verses 4, 5, and 6, where we're going to be today, we find out why. Why does he want to wake up early? Why does he want to wake up psaltery and harp? Why does he want to fix his heart and sing praise? Well, we're going to find out. Let me read those for you here in uh, Psalm 108, verses 4 and 5. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reaches unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens and thy glory above all the earth, that thy beloved may be delivered. Save with thy right hand and answer me. Now, I told you that we have this divided into three sections, praise, promise, and prayer. But we have a little bit of prayer here in the praise part, don't we? But notice how we start in verse 4. For thy mercy is great. So this is the reason why he's singing. He's singing because God's mercy is great. It's great above the heavens. His truth reaches unto the clouds, which also explains why he's singing among the nations, because everyone can see this, and he wants them all to know why. Why is it that you have the greatness of God displayed in the heavens and truth in the clouds? Why is that? Well, he's going to tell them, because in his praise, I'm sure that he addresses the greatness of God. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, thy glory above all the earth. And so even though his greatness, you know, the, the greatness of his mercy, or rather that should say in verse 4, thy mercy is great above the heavens, he says, be even greater than that. You be just be greater than great, greater than anyone can ever describe or measure. You know, there's no tape ruler that we can, you know, stretch out and decide just exactly how great God is. There's no measuring his greatness. And in the midst of that, greatness is the greatness of his mercy, which is why this man sings. And it's why we sing. Any song that you sing, whether it's a happy song or a sad song, if you sing it to the Lord, you're singing it because of his greatness, because of anticipating his greatness, or because of having received the greatness of his mercy. You're anticipating mercy, or you've received mercy. That's why we sing. And so David here is explaining that as well that thy beloved may be delivered. Oh, so now we see that there's something here. David gives us a little touch of the prayer part. Your beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand and answer me. Well, of course, now prayer is dependent upon the greatness of God's mercy, isn't it? So he's singing because of mercy. He's anticipating mercy and he's asking for mercy from God by this little interjection of prayer right here in verse 6. Verse 6, by the way, begins the section of the psalm that comes out of uh, Psalm 60. So we've had Psalm 57 quoted in verse 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And that little piece from Psalm 57 are verses 7 through 11. You want to go back and read those, you can. But now, in verse 6, we begin with Psalm 60, and in Psalm 60, verse 5, you'll find this verse. So now we're going to look tomorrow at uh, the promise part, and I hope you'll join me then here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.